Welcome to lecture 10, Acupoints for Massage Therapists. This lecture will cover the gallbladder channel of Foot Xiaoyang. Our last lecture, as you remember, covered pericardium channel of Han Zhuiyin and San Zhao channel of Han Xiaoyang. We move to the next channel in our, if we are covering the channels in the order in which qi flows through the channels, the qi clock. So our next channel to be covered is the Xiaoyang pair to Han Xiaoyang, San Zhao, which is Foot Xiaoyang, the gallbladder channel of Foot Xiaoyang. As we recall, Xiao Yang covers the sides of the head, the side of the upper extremity, the sides of the body, right, the flank, the lateral aspect of the lower extremity, and foot. The gallbladder channel is no, no exception. It covers almost all of those areas with the exception of the upper extremity. It has uh, many branches, lots of twists and turns, but it all makes sense if you take it slowly. So don't let the diagram flip you out and don't let the fact that there are a lot of branches flip you out. Just pay attention as we talk about the root of this channel. For further reading, of course, you can refer to a manual of acupuncture by Peter Dedman and Mazen al Kafaji. Right, the gallbladder channel begins the discussion on page 417. It is in our school library. You can refer to Chinese acupuncture and moxibustion, Beijing University Press. So there are several books that you can refer to if you need more information than what's here but I think that this will suffice and you'll be able to listen to this over again and over again as you have it as a tool available available to you so let us begin the gallbladder channel begins next to the outer canthus of the eye gallbladder one it traverses the cheek to the level uh, between the condyle of the mandible and the infratragic notch, the notch below the tragus of the ear. It then moves anterior and superior from the ear back towards the eye and slightly superior, right, to just above the zygo uh, zygoma, gallbladder three moves up to the corner of the head, gallbladder four, and then moves laterally, and inferior, inferior, inferior laterally, towards the apex of the ear. Gallbladder five, six, seven, gallbladder eight, is the sun above the tip of the ear, nine, 10, 11, gallbladder 12, at the tip of the mastoid process. Then the channel comes back and traverses the side of the head again. We see within the hairline, gallbladder 13. In the supraorbital ridge, gallbladder 14. And then it swings back over the top of the head, gallbladder 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 at the occiput and 21 at the high point of the shoulder, the highest point of the shoulder. Okay, here the channel moves posteriorly, right, to meet with the other yang channels and the dew vessel at dew 14, the level of the lower border of the spinous process of C7. And then it moves this is deep now, internal, anteriorly, right, crossing the shoulder, 
and descending along through the axilla and along the midline of the body. Okay, now we're dealing with the superficial branch again because we see the points, right? Gallbladder 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 25 being the front moo point of the kidney, 26, 27, 28, 29, and here's gallbladder 30. Now, let's double back. From behind the ear, a branch enters the ear and then comes out again on the anterior surface, really the lateral surface next to the ear, moves to the inner canthus, comes down across the cheek, spreads back up, connects with the inner canthus, the urinary bladder channel, and then traverses the face, moves down the neck, and we see it moves through the chest, connecting with the tissue of the breast, connecting with the liver and the gallbladder, right? So it's internal, external paired organ, the liver, and its home organ, the gallbladder, moves deeply through the lower abdomen and moves posterior inside. So it's deep, deep, deep. Posteriorly where it connects with the urinary bladder channel in the sacral foramen, UB 31 to 34, and then moves inferiorly, connect with the dew channel at dew one at the tip of the coccyx. Moves anteriorly where it comes to the surface at gallbladder 30. So now we're back to gallbladder 30 and the channel and the energy of the channel enters the leg. Gallbladder 31, 32, 33, 34, an influential point of the sinew, 35, 36, 37, the little woe point, gallbladder 38, gallbladder 39, which is the influential point of marrow, gallbladder 40, 41, 42, 43, and finally gallbladder 44, next to the nail of the fourth toe. So yes, it seems like a, uh, 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 what do I do with it? But just take it slow, break it piece by piece. We'll do it again. Starts at the outer canthus of the eye. Traverses the cheek, right? At the level of the infratragic notch, between the infratragic notch and the condyle of the mandible when the mouth is open, right? Gallbladder two moves superior and anterior, right, gallbladder three, and then ascends superior to the corner of the head, gallbladder four. Now it moves laterally and inferior, inferior laterally, gallbladder five, six, seven, about one sun away from the ear, it surrounds the ear, so one sun above the apex, gallbladder eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the tip of the mastoid process. Now the channel comes back this way and traverses the side of the head. <laughs> think the points on this channel are going to be good for a headache? I think they will. You think it'll be good for a headache like on the side of the head or one-sided headache in particular? Absolutely, I think it will. Gallbladder 13, just within the hairline. In the center of the supraorbital ridge, gallbladder 14. And now the channel ascends the forehead and over the top of the head. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 at the occipital, by the occipital ridge basically between the trapezius and uh, the SCM. 
it continues to descend the neck, posterior neck, to the top of the shoulder, gallbladder 21. Here, the channel moves internally, right? And posterior to meet all the other yang channels at do 14, which is located at the lower border of C7. And then it comes back anterior over the shoulder. Well, this is just a nice big space, right? All right, so it swings over the shoulder, descends, and emerges again, right? Moves through the axilla and emerges again at gallbladder 22. Moves anterior to gallbladder 23. Posterior and slightly medially to gallbladder 24. Right now, posterior and inferior, look how far back, right to the tip of the 12th rib, which is gallbladder 25, the front moo point of the kidney. Gallbladder 26, gallbladder 27, gallbladder 28, right in front of the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine, and the channel moves inferior laterally again to gallbladder 29 and then continues to move posteriorly slightly inferiorly to gallbladder 30. A branch from behind the ear enters the ear I'm just going to draw it right into the air and emerges on the anterior portion of the ear and then traverses the cheek the outer, at the outer campus. Right? It moves down across the cheek and then comes back up to the inner canthus and then descends the cheek through the area of the angle of the mandible, descends the neck through stomach 12 or all of the yang channels except for the urinary bladder channel pass. Connects with the breast tissue this is all interior now, right? All deep, right? Moves and makes a connection with its internally, externally paired organ, the liver. Then joins with its home organ, the gallbladder. Then moves inferiorly and deep. Moves deep where it connects with the urinary bladder channel at the sacral foramen, UB 31 to 34. Then moves posteriorly to connect at the tip of the coccyx with do one. And now, this really, well, again, it's deep, right? And now it moves anteriorly, laterally, really, not anteriorly, but from this, well, it is anterior, but to the lateral side of the thigh, to the buttock the top of the leg where it connects with gallbladder 30 where the channel and the chi of the channel enters the leg and moves down. So we gallbladder 30 up here right? and now gallbladder 31, 32, 33, 34 influential point of the sinew, 35 36, 37, our little wall point, 38, 39, influential point of the marrow, 40, and moves between the fourth and fifth metatarsals, 42, and 44, right at the lateral nail root of the fourth toe on the lateral side.